Welcome back, everybody, to the Windy City Major, the fifth stop in the NXL 2022 events this year. We just had some great five-man go on. Uh, now we're into X-Ball, so we're looking at D5 X-Ball, which I believe this is going to be SBS versus... Storm Riders. Storm Riders. I think we've seen Storm Riders here before, maybe at the first event. Uh, but again, I'm Vince from Let's Talk Paintball, joined here by Coach Mike, Mike Jeffrey, uh, my partner in crime here as we start getting into these X-Ball finals. So this one is going to be straight X-Ball, straight, uh, straight up, uh, one, uh, or excuse me, one team. So no split deck this game. Yeah. So two um, minutes between points, quick turnarounds for these X-Ball teams. I believe they're playing 10 minutes down here in D5 with a three point mercy roll. Yep. So, uh, just a quick reminder, Team USA, which was behind us, you can get that gear at usapaintball.com. Show your support for Team USA. So on the breakout here, looking at SBS, which is a Midwest team. I believe they're from Chicago. They said, if you're not from the Midwest, I want to send you home. Both teams going to snake off the break here. Yep, Storm Riders here. I'm not sure where the Storm Riders are out of, um, but they are doing a great job getting into the snake, too. Trying to find a hunt real quick, see what they can do. Number 32 in the boonie hat, trying to fit, get some information. He's going to move forward. And oh, out what a move. He, he keeps his gun Woo. up, tries to get another, but is unable to. Gets pieced up so in the process. Trade. Storm Rider's going to lose two more out of their backfield, it looks like. So SBS in the driver's seat now with four bodies alive. Trying to figure out what's happening after the chaos, making their secondary bumps. A light, steady rain falling out here as they converge on the last Storm Riders player and bunker him. Good job by the Storm Riders player to not get a penalty. Seen the dog tag hanging out, the last Storm Riders player. Yeah, Storm Riders player actually wearing a Tropic Thunders jersey. So that makes me feel like they're from the East Coast because Tropic Thunder, I believe. Florida team, right? Yeah. So good job by them. SBS going to hang this one. Now, I believe uh, in D5, it may be a three-point three mercy third, rule. That's what I thought, three-point mercy rule there. So I couldn't, remember if it was, I couldn't remember if it was three or four. So great job. Uh, again, this is a, this is straight-up X-Ball here, so no split deck action. Um, what a, I mean, so we've seen so much paintball out here so far. What are some kind of highlights for you over this weekend? Oh, man, that semi-pro semifinal set was excellent paintball. The four best teams made it to the top four. That's not always the case. Sometimes you get some drama, um, good teams getting knocked out by strange calls and that kind of thing. But um, in this situation, really great teams made it. Bloody knuckles, smart, oh, methodical play. Um, yeah, that Archie Barnes Jr., Michael Kovar, one-two punch going up against Haber on Chicago Distortion, who is... My favorite player on this field, um, and just seeing how Notorious was able to neutralize that threat and move on to the finals, that, that was the highlight of the weekend for me. What about you? Absolutely. So, yeah, I agree with that. You know, loving to see, uh, obviously, Blast Camp, you know, keeping that dominance there that they've had so far in this tournament. And then, yeah, I mean, I don't think you can test Archie Barnes Jr., that tag team there between Archie uh, Barnes and uh, Kovar. I mean, absolutely uh, amazing. So before we get into this next set, just want to show off here BKI award for the most valuable player. So Mike and I will be deciding that here pretty soon. So this award goes to the best semi pro, -pro player on this field, right? So there's still, they can still go to the pro field, get something else, but this is the BKI just for the premier field. So fully functioning, custom engraved, custom colored powerhouse rig that they will win. Uh, so we will decide that here pretty soon. So as we get into this action between SBS and Storm Riders D5 X ball here on the NXL Premier Field. So, so let's see here. Both teams went snake off the break that last point. Let's see if they try it again. Now, gr good run and dive in there from the SBS player getting into the snake, looking down, trying to see if he can get a kill. Number 98. It's a different player from the last point. Going to load a pod. Throw one. We'll do the, the pod snake. trick. They lose one off the Dorito side. SBS does, but Storm Riders also going to lose their snake player trying to fill in. So good zone control by SBS. Yeah. Up one point already. 
Great job. There's number 98 there in the snake. Looking, Storm uh, Riders making moves down the Dorito side, though. SBS owns the snake, however. We've seen this a ton, a, a ton so far as teams flipping the field on each other. So let's see if Storm Riders can potentially mount the Dorito side attack and flip that field while looking at SBS there in the snake tower and in the snake two. I mean, they need to work together and get up this snake. So exactly as I say that, oh, he runs to his death, though, and just, I think, bad communication there. Thought there was somebody else with him. Unfortunate move. Yeah, he must have heard from somebody or gotten nervous about there being a 50 snake, but the Storm Riders didn't have a snake at the moment. They do now. The, this player with the cool dreadlocks, oh, but he loses a gun battle. Yeah, unfortunately losing a gun battle there. Nice sand in, a long sleeve, but it's not going to help him here as SBS looks like they're in control of this point. Yeah, Two look. players left alive for Storm Riders. They have the Dorito Tower and the Dorito One. I think it might just be two players for SBS as well. Critical two-on-two -two situation. Yeah, great job here so Three far. players for Storm Riders that are also in that Dorito Three. Oh, and it looks like SBS is going to lose another player too. So originally looking really good for SBS. Now dropping bodies, allowing Storm Riders to get back into this match. Yeah, I think it's just the two wedges left for SBS uh, Storm Riders in a pretty big situation. SBS making the move into that brick. I'm not sure if he shot. Yeah, he shot one. So now it's a two on two. Storm Riders coming through. He's oh. going to bunker the Dorito Ooh. brick. They trade. Oh, but the Storm Riders player on the Dorito side pieces of the snake uh, wedge player. So leaving one body left alive. So it looks like Storm Riders is going to get that point as I think he's going to clear the field. Eventually realize he's the last one left and go hang the buzzer. Tie game now. Hey, it's, it's Dog Tags Man. Dog Tags Man, you know, he's the last man alive, the last point for his team. This time he's the last man alive for any team. Going to hit that buzzer. Yeah, great job there getting double checked out. By the Tropic Thunder jersey there. Love to see the Tropic Thunder's uh, great divisional team there. Bunch of swag. They got the mask. I actually picked up the JT mask for the Tropic Thunder edition for myself. Um, you can see it on my wall uh, behind me when I do Let's Talk Paintball. You can find me on uh, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Storm um, Riders are out of Bronx, New York. They yep. play at Battle Creek Paintball. That's where the Padres are from. That's Chris Straza's field. So Storm Riders, a Northeastern team going up against SBS. Here we go. Midwestern team. Home yeah. field advantage here a little bit. Yeah, SBS has actually been, uh, I'm pretty sure they've been playing out of uh, the Blast Camp series, the Max series, I believe. And they've been doing really well. I've seen some uh, Instagram uh, pictures of them you know, with some first place. So hoping to transition some of that magic here into the NXL series. Yeah, looking at the Premier Field schedule, we got D3 and D4 X-Ball finals coming up followed by the Division II X-Ball Consolation game and the Semi-Pro mm. X-Ball Consolation game. So still a lot of great action out here on the Pro Char field to come. And like you were saying about SBS winning uh, local tournaments, I don't care what level you're playing at, it is hard to win a national tournament. So these teams have been grinding all weekend long. Now they're out here in the steady, chilly rain. It's pretty good temperature, still 71 degrees. Field's going to be pretty slick as it's had a lot of footsteps on it now. Quite a bit of mud out there. Lots of overslides going down out here. Yeah, so overall right now looking like, and you can see the, the mud puddles forming behind all of the bunkers right now. Expect to see some slips as we they dive on this field. We definitely seen, I think that's one of the things that hurt distortion a little bit. Haber not being able to get to generate the force he was getting because he was slipping quite a bit off that, uh, off that box. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could make a compilation of people slipping and set it to yakety sacks. <laughs> All right, so big breakout. Ooh, the player does get shot in the pod pack, though. Hey, so great break shooting for SBS right there. But SBS needing checked as well. He makes it, though. So SBS is going to own the snake side to start the game, and they fill into the juice box on the Dorito side. So SBS in business with the kill off the break and forward progression. Storm Riders in a tie game. They have the wedge and the tower. Both those guys looking the same way. You have five minutes, 54 seconds left on the clock they're, right now. They're concerned about it's either Hippie or Gippy. Some IPPY name, number 98 in the snake. Storm Riders are making sure they don't lose track of him. Kippy. Kippy. Kippy, number 98 in the snake. 
checking inside. Now eleven also moving up. Preston, I believe that is number eleven. The pod hanging out of uh, number five. Yeah, I think that's an empty pod. I'm not sure what happened there, if it dumped or what, but looks like it's hanging off a little side tag. Ho hopefully, there. he doesn't get shot there. Oh, that would be miserable. Now Kippy crawling into the fifty snake in the mud. He's got to be careful not to get shot on the inside. Now he's going to get blown in the head, blown apart in the head. No, the oh. the storm riders player unable to put the shot on him. He has the side of his head. Kippy really needs to tuck in here. Oh, then he looks and sees oh, the wow. white player who comes off it for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, tuck that head, big dog, because uh Yeah, it, the, the wedge player's about head checks, so now Kippy getting his gun up on the inside on the Dorito side wedge player for Storm Riders. Kippy hopefully hoping to catch a kill there. He lies down, he gives up dominance, so that's gonna allow the Storm Riders player to load a pod and then come up. So for some reason he thinks there's a player in the snake with him. He's getting information about the snake being hot, but there's no one there. I mean Kippy has the snake all day long, so if he wanted to, he could go and wrap this uh, outside of this and move into Stormrider's side of the field. So these these are players who are learning how to play this game, and so Kippy might just be concerned about getting bunkered. Oh, but he loses the unnecessary gun battle uh, uh, with the witch. Oh, he trades out with him, which is good, but still unnecessary. But then three players coming off for Stormriders at the same time, so... Kate SBS now making moves up the field. Here we go. Gonna run in and hit that buzzer to take a one point lead with four minutes left. Gotta make sure you don't team kill. Yeah. Doing the slash across the neck. Please don't shoot me. Oh, I see what happened. He opened the pod, but it got stuck in the loop. Wow. Look at that. Don't see that too often. Yeah. I think he probably had that pod facing up or something and yeah. then slid down. A little appendage sticking out there for him so great uh, again thank you so much for everybody tuning in here we do have uh, all these videos in the video section for the morning and afternoon matches for everything from friday and saturday for the premier field so if you miss any of the semi-pro action or any of the uh, divisional action you can go back and watch those on the nxl facebook page at facebook.com slash NXL. Go to the videos to watch all the action back. As we are getting into this set right now, three minutes, 58 seconds left to go. SBS and Storm Riders battling out for the D5 X-Ball. is a little overcast, a little rainy, a little windy out here today. Uh, standard kind of classic paintball weather on a Sunday. It always makes things interesting. Uh, but beautiful weather other than that all weekend long. So lucky to have that. Just to give a shout out to our sponsors real quick, Pro Char. There's an, Eclipse. there's an ominous feeling to the weather that makes these finals matchups feel even extra dramatic. Yeah. Players <laughs> really giving it their all sweat and grime and mud mixing together. Yep. And uh, jerseys becoming heavy with rainwater. Again, you know, uh, going back to our sponsor, GI Sports, HK Army, Lomo, PayPal.com, Dye, Supair, DLX Technologies, uh, helping provide an amazing experience out here. I did see a really amazing uh, Geo4 that I'm very jealous of. Is Someone has a uh, POW MIA Geo4, and those those markers usually go for a ton of money if you get all the way back to the original, like, Geo series. So, wow. Pretty cool. I I'm saw, a fan. I saw an SBS player has... Number 24 in the initials KB on the back of their jersey. I wonder if it stands for Kobe Bryant. There we go. Uh, Storm Riders unable to get a player out to the box in time, so he's going to be called out. That's unfortunate. That two-minute turnaround can be difficult, especially if you, if you have to run to the far side of the field, and it costs the Storm Riders there. Kippy in the snake. He's matched up. Snake two to snake two here. Kippy always concerned about another 50 snake player. He's going to try to catch a free kill. Yeah, and so. that's some of the difference we see here between the divisionals and, and all the summer pro action we've been watching so far. Definitely more awareness uh, from those you know, higher division guys and gals. So, you know, Kippy not knowing that he can, uh, he has a shot right now. I actually, I don't know that he has any free kills right now, but he's he's overly, he tends to be overly concerned about the snake player in front of him. Maybe he heard that gun. Storm Riders do lose another. Kippy just always assumes the 50 snake is hot. I think he might have had something bad happen to him earlier in the tournament. <laughs> <I'm> serious. <laughs> something that changed his life. <laughs> yeah, or changed his tournament, certainly. Um, and he's not getting fed information. You can tell by the way he's looking around. Oh, he's nodding his head. Someone's telling him something. 
He must hear that Storm Riders player in front of him. Kippy holding wire dom dominance. There is one SBS player coming off. So I think it's a four on two advantage for SBS. Oh, oh Kippy my putting goodness. the nice shot down the wire on the snake. And he's calling out his kill to his homies. Great the job. four on two for SBS. Kippy gone up. What is Kippy it? thinks it's all over and it's not. He might get shot cross field here. The Storm Riders player unable to put a cross wow. field shot on Kippy, so he is able to shoot the back center. Oh, Storm so. Riders begging for a penalty, but it's not going to happen. I think it's a two pack for Kippy right there. Someone in the Storm Riders pick has double arms up in a Louis Vuitton motif pack made by Sandana. It looks like a lot of patterns going oh. on. Minute 58 left. SBS is going to go up by two to Storm Riders. We got a player in the SBS or uh, SBS pit with a patent leather little backpack. He's got JT team pants with black and yellow blast camp digital camo font. A Louis that guy Vuitton, looks like a character. A Louis Vuitton motif sandana pack. <laughs> he was out here before saying, if you're not from the Midwest, we're sending you home. I swear to God. All right, so as we're getting into more action right now, two minutes left on the clock, Storm Riders down two. The mercy rule out here is three points, so Storm Riders now facing a do-or-die situation. We still have some light rain coming down, but the sun is also breaking through. Might have some nice dramatic rainbows coming out over here in Oak Forest, Illinois, just a bit outside of Chicago. Mm. What do they call Chicago, the second city? Not sure. <laughs> For today, it's the first city, first city of paintball, um, as we've had some amazing action. And, and Chicago, just real historic for paintball. Tons of depth and knowledge here. You know, Chicago, Aftershock back in the day, one of the original big three, uh, the, the triangle of power mm -hmm. between Los Angeles Ironman and Philadelphia All-Americans and then Chicago Aftershock. Before. I've seen a bunch of former Aftershock players out here as well. And I even see Mikey Bruno, the previous head coach, uh, walk around here as well. So was he smoking a cigarette? Uh, I'm not sure. He was definitely, <laughs> definitely saying hi to everybody. Um, glad to see him out here. I mean, I was a fan of his growing up. Got to see him, you know, give, dap up a couple players, mm -hmm. uh, from that program. So. Rain started to come down a little bit now. Chicago, historically one of the toughest events to win. It's usually the uh, mm. penultimate event of the year, the last one before World Cup. So everyone's very sharp at this point in the season. Weather playable all across the country. SBS working out their calls. Trying to work out some off the break calls to each other, get that communication up and put Storm Riders away. Storm Riders, New York team, hometown is the Bronx. Play out of Battle Creek Paintball in Milford, New Jersey. That's Chris Straza's field. He's on the Padres, so yeah, don't Padres count. Padres not having count. the event they wanted. Yeah, 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 made Sunday, but you know, I, I think they really just lost to a better team out there today. So now Storm Riders, and also we, can't forget that Padres were missing what four, like four, four of their starters. Players, so good yeah. for them to make Sunday in a difficult situation. But especially you're right, you're right always always out here to win. Yeah, as they like bringing the guys up that they did too. I mean, great job by them. This just shows the strength of their organization. Storm Riders gonna send players to both wedges and shoot Kippy off the snake side for SBS. So Storm Riders in a must win point. Only a minute forty seven off the clock, and they need two points. So the classic situation we've seen quite a bit of this weekend. Down two. Can't just settle for one point here. SBS stuck in the back bunkers, just content to roll their guns and try to kill clock with a minute 30 left. Communicating. Now Storm Rider's getting into the snake. That could change the game if he comes all the way down. Like that he's not stopping the snake too. He's going straight into the 50 snake. I don't think the Storm Riders know he's there. Or SBS, I don't think he knows he's there. Hopefully the Storm Riders player, he's got a huge GoPro on the on his barrel, which you know is, is a choice he made. <laughs> not a not a fan of the not a fan I, of the GoPro. I hate all I hate all barrel cams in tournament action. Really? Yeah, I think it's, it's just in tournament situations. Yeah, tournament situation. Why add anything to be shot? Um, 
I like Storm Riders trying to get through here. So forcing the issue, trying to get because they need two points. They heard that one minute go up. I don't know if they have anyone left. They do. They have one player in the wedge. At least they might have someone else on the Dorito side as well. I think oh, they shoot the last wow. SBS player. They got to run in and get this buzzer. The Storm Riders player clearing the field. Now they're going to sprint and get that buzzer. It's going to leave about 25 seconds left. No, you got to sprint. So 24 seconds left, and they're going to be down one. So, so Coach Mike here not liking barrel cams at, at events. I, you can put me down on the record as no one on a team that I coach is going to have a barrel cam on. So if uh, you're just tuning in, thank you so much. I have a little update for, for you on the pro side of things. So Edmonton Impact squeezes out a win to Houston Heat to go into the finals. And the Russian Legion, Red Legion, beats Dynasty wow. to go into the finals. So it looks like it's going to be a uh, Red Legion, Edmonton Impact final. So Impact looking for two straight after they win the Sacramento Minor, trying to add a major victory to that and get the um, win streak of their own going. Dynasty will not win five major tournaments in a row. So And the and the Red Legion, I think they came into this event ranked 18th. They were having a really tough year, the Red Legion. Just Even, getting people over. I mean, they took two eighth places at the, at the major events. Right, right. But still, um, to their not up to their standards. Um, so good to see them making the finals. And, and what... So what a turn of events that would be. I mean, we've had a ton of upsets here as NYX, I believe, goes 3-0 and or 4-1. and um, So they so they now stave off relegation by making a Sunday. So SBS just chaos in the pits right now. Is they're not going to get all their players out before the towel goes out? Oh, it looks like the clock is stopped. Yeah, clock the is clock stopped. is stopped. 10 seconds. The score is 3 to 2. SBS has the lead with 22 seconds left. Our scoreboard is wrong right now. Storm Riders has to come. That's Storm Riders on your screen launching down the field with just 18 seconds, 17 to tie it up. They could really use a major on SBS launching through the center. Really good push. 10, 9, Eight, but I think SBS is able to weather the storm, so to speak, of the Storm Riders. And yes, SBS is going to take wow. the Division Five X ball in, and they Great are job. fired up. Kippy saying, "That's what I'm talking about." Yeah, great job by Division Five team SBS to take the win here. Number so. 21, Ray. Number 88, Sullivan. You can tell these guys care. Very passionate. Lots of profanity. <laughs> when people care, sometimes they speak in vulgar language. So we have, we will have more uh, divisional action coming up soon after this. If we just fi finish this match. So again, thank you so much, everybody, for love and support. Vince, and let's talk paintball. I'm here with Coach Mike, Mike Jeffries. So we will be right back.